Subtracting measurements. When we subtract measurements, we want to subtract each unit separately and borrow from the larger unit on the right if needed. So the first thing we're going to do when we see 35 minutes take away 50 minutes is we're going to say you can't do that and we need to borrow some minutes from these seven hours. Having a conversion chart from your math book or the internet is going to help you when you do measurements. In this problem, we need hours and minutes. And we know that one hour is 60 minutes according to this chart. So if I'm going to borrow from the hours, this set seven is going to become a six. And instead of borrowing like normal in subtraction and putting a one here, I'm giving it 60 minutes. So we're going to add 60 minutes to this. 0 and 5 is 5, 6 and 3 is 9, and now we've got 95 minutes and 6 hours. 5 take away 0 is 5, 9 take away 5 is 4, always write your labels, 6 take away 4 is 2, and our answer is 2 hours 45 minutes. Now let's do these pounds and ounces. Can you have 8 ounces and take 14 away? No, you can't. So let's look at our chart. 1 pound is 16 ounces. So we're going to have to borrow from this 13 pounds. It's going to become 12. And the 8 ounces, instead of just adding 1 like in regular borrowing, we're going to add 16 to it. 6 and 8 is 14. Carry the 1, put the 4 down. 1 and 1 is 2. So now this goes away. Now we've got 12 pounds and 24 ounces. 24 take away 14 is 0, 1, 10 ounces. 12 take away 10 is 2 pounds, 10 ounces. You need a conversion chart from your math book or the internet to do measurement conversions, unless you can memorize them, but it's very few people can do that. This is how you subtract measurements.